Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video I am going to discuss intro questions and answers based on picture format. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay guys, so if you want to learn SAS from me, you can email me or you can WhatsApp me. Let's move on to the next slide. Guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview, you can book a interview session with me. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, here is the first question. Add plus minus sign in below numbers as per below output. So here we have input data set that has a variable x. It has minus 5, 4, minus 3, 10 as the values. So here you can see with minus values, we see the minus sign, but for the positive values like 4 and 10, we do not have any sign. Here we have the code that has generated this input data set. So you can see I simply just uh, subtracted values 5 minus 10. So it will give us minus 5, 10 minus 6, it will give us 4, 3 minus 6, it will give us minus 3 and 12 minus 2, it will give us positive 10. And here is the output minus 5 plus 4, minus 3 and plus 10. This is the output we want to generate. How we will generate this? Let's move on to the next slide and see the solution. Okay, so we will solve this question using picture format. So here is the input data set. We already discussed that and this is the code. So what I am doing here is I am creating a format. So proc format picture. So picture format basically used to add character values in a numeric variable. So here picture, then name of the format, dig sign, digit sign. Here I am using low dash, then angle bracket and zero. So this means low to less than zero. So angle bracket means do not include zero. So low, any values below zero will be formatting as zero, zero, zero. So zero, zero means it will be the same values that is coming from the data. So if you are getting minus five, then it will be a minus five there will be no change. Then we are adding a prefix minus. So if value is minus, then minus would be added. It's already there in the data for the consistency. I keep it prefix as minus. Then we are using zero equal nine. So nine is basically used for if we do not have any digit, it will replace add value as zero. So here zero is coming, it will add the zero. We'll discuss this nine uh, in upcoming questions also. The, this is important. The next line zero angle bracket dash high. That means do not include the zero, but any values that is more than zero, treat it as zero, zero, zero. Just print as it is whatever values is coming. Zero, zero means whatever values is coming. Just print it as it is and add the prefix plus. So it will add the plus sign in it. So this is the format and in the next statement we will applying this format. So proc print data values. So this data set I gave the name as values and then format applying x dig sign. So that dig sign I have applied here. So if you see the output this will generate this output minus 5 that is as it is but plus 4 it has added the plus sign and minus 3 and plus 10. So this is the way we will solve this question. Let's move on to the next question. Question two, add dash sign in below credit card numbers as per output. So here in we have input data set. You will see we have 16 digit card numbers here. Then credit card data. I am creating this input data using this code and you will see the output we want is after four digit we'll be creating set of four digits and then we'll inserting one dash so five two six four dash three six four nine dash eight five two five dash zero 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 four dash so this is the output we want we want that dash to be inserted after every four digits let's see how we will solve this question so we will be solving this question using picture format so here is the code and i am using proc format picture dash insert dash insert is the format name low to high that means any value that should be less than zero or more than zero so any values low to high is coming i am just grouping four digits one two three four five as the four zero represents four digits and then i am entering one dash so you can see here we have created four set of digits so one two three four here i am just printing this data set 
I did not give any proc print and data set name because whatever data set we have last created proc print automatically picks that input data. So here I use a proc print and format and then the variable. So that's a card number and then I'm applying the format here. So when we run this proc print, we'll get this output. So now here you can see the digits are separated by dash. So this is how we will solve this question. Let's move on to the next question. Question number three, add zero in below month numbers as per output. So input data set, we have date one. So this is the date. It's in number format. We haven't applied any format on this one. Then this is the month. So month is three. And what we want in output data set, if you see date is as it is, but for the month, we just wanted to add a zero because it's a two digit format we want to apply so anything 1 2 3 uh, below 10 till 9 will be adding 0 so 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 and after 10 we do not require because two digit are 10 11 12 it's already have the complete digit so 0 is not required so here the requirement is when anything comes less than 10 there should be a 0 at the start to complete the two digits here is the code to generate this input data set data date exp input date one and date nine because source data is in date nine format 09 march 2023 then month i am just extracting the month from this date so once we read this as a date i am just using a month function and date one so it will give me the date so march it will give a three so three is extracted okay now we'll see how we will solve this question so we'll again going to solve this question using picture format. However, you can use another way of doing this also. We'll discuss at the end. So here is the input data set and I'm creating a format proc format picture full value. And I am saying low to high. Whatever value comes in, just replace it with 99. So 99, I have given it two times. So when the value comes one digit, then there will be like this is for digit and this is for no digit. So that means if digit is single, then in this case, the three, three is for this nine and this nine will add a zero. So whatever number of zeros you want to add, just increase the number of nine. So if you want zero, zero, three, then give one more nine here. So it will give you zero, zero, three, two, zero, and then three. So we just want one zero or two digit only. So that's why I gave double nine. Now I am printing this. So proc print data date exp and applying the format month full value. So full value format is applied. So here in the output, you will see this 03. However, if you don't want to use this picture format, you can solve this using another way. That is, you can apply a format called Z2 dot. So this is another way of doing that. Just try this with Z2. You do not need to create any format. Just go and apply format month Z2 dot and it will give you the same result. I hope guys, the picture format is clear. So guys, picture format is even bigger than this. If you want me to cover that section, also, just let me know in the comment section and I'll create more videos on this one. But for a general understanding, I think this is enough. All right, guys, that's it in this session. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe my channel or mention in the comment section what you like, what you dislike about this video. And if you want me to create more videos on picture format and detailed or cover entire picture format in the videos, you can mention in the comment section. Till that time. Bye and take care.